Six out of ten. Better than The Last Jedi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This person crazy. Jordan Washier. 71, 71, 6. 11th of October, 2018. This movie is a little painful to watch nowadays, but I remember really loving it as a kid. The important thing about this film is it does nothing tarnish my love for the original trilogy. You can make a star bad Star Wars film, that's fine. But when you show the characters I grew up with and love and change the story, that no longer remains sense of the original. That's where we have a major problem, Ryan Johnson. 679 found this helpful. 4 out of 10. NRA Ewoks. Old School C. 31st of January, 2006. Since my first Star Wars experience with Return of the Jedi, I've always had a soft spot for those furry fellas. I know all older fans consider them the weak point of the first trilogy, but I think they're great, especially his song End of Jedi. I'd first seen the first spin-off, Caravan and Courage, a long time ago in video, so when I got the Caravan and Courage, Battle and or Double Bill, by being this the second film, I watched this film first. I was in for surprise. Was, not only this principal Dick Vernon from The Breakfast Club turn up, a lot of the major characters for this film died early in the film. Although DJ and Shoda from the first film appeared, only Ewok to feature prominently in this film was Wicked. He, along with the girl from the first film, an old map with a speedy little thing called Willie, eat up most of the film with crazy hijinks. I have to admit, too, having a smile on my face through most of the comedy middle part of the film, even chuckling a few times. Also, all the Ewoks seem to be able to speak English with no problem at all. The end of the film has a real shock for me. Ewoks may get their hands on fire and seeing them shoot with sharpshooter accuracy is a bit disturbing. But all the changes to the first film Ewok analogy is that a word at the very ropey special effects. I prefer this to the first film. Maybe that created a film, but anyone like me a soft spot for the Ewoks probably get something from this. 4 of 8 found this helpful. 10 out of 10. It's not that bad. Diddley or Dickens. 26th of December 2001. The Ewok movies aren't as bad as people say. Of course, they're not the same quality as the Star Wars movie, but they were made for TV and made for small children. Every Star Wars fan should see these movies because it's really a Star Wars spinoff that gives a nice view of Endor's moon. 4 of 6 found this helpful. 1 out of 10. No, 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 no. Netherland. 21st of March 2004. What the hell is this? This is my first reaction to my to this film. After my first reaction, I'm to more swearing. It's in Star Wars. Star Wars is a space battle. This movie has none. Star Wars is the Force. This movie only has a witch with a magic ring. Star Wars is lightsaber battles. This movie hasn't got any battle worth mentioning. Star Wars is humor. This movie isn't. Star Wars is a galaxy far, far away. This movie has forces in it. By the side of all, how, how did Lucas get inside? He left a five-year-old baby in the leading role. Big, big disappointment. Do you like Star Wars? Don't watch this. 1 out of 10. 12 out of 14. Find this helpful. Rome must hate the Dewey Disney schlock then. The best movie that you've never seen, Super B, 4th of May 2002. This sequel to 1984's Ewok Adventure is good as the original. If you love Ewok, if you love Star Wars, you need to see these Ewok movies. These are movies from an 80s childhood that I'll never forget. If you can't find these films, rent, try and buy them on eBay. They're great. 4 out of 6 found this helpful. 10 out of 10. Great. And sooner. 11th of July 2003. This movie is so fun to watch. I've been enjoying this movie since I was 5, and not a lot any interest in it. It's out of print now, so it's difficult to come by, but if you can i recommend watch as many times as you can because it'll make your life complete four of six found this helpful seven out of ten no not her she's evil by <laughs> reviews 10 of august 2023 when waters attack single and wicked are forced to leave the village they encounter hermit but it's the danger over it's well how much better this first one is it's after the plot a clear through the line of the bad guys trying to gate power from the spaceship part and dominate all humans they come across there are way more creatures that are better spread throughout and so most can find to which real Parts. Over Brimley delivers a great performance as expected and helps dramatically in grounding this. The action is good and there's a decent amount of it, and although it's definitely somewhat derivative of the term Jedi, otherwise it's on par with its predecessor. The Alabama effects continue to be great for TV standards, okay to good by Star Wars standards. So top and editing are perfectly serviceable. This features some incredibly dark material for kids' movies. So I recommend this big fan's Ewok Star Wars 7 out of 10. 5 out of 10. It's much more cohesive to the last. Uh, Ewok movie was still awkward from lack of energy and much of a point. Ionic Breeze Machine, 3rd July 2022. Okay, it's a long one. On the planet Endor, Sindel, Aubrey Miller, and Wicked Ewok Warwick Davis are forced to go in the run after getting a monitor that by Terra Kerstruken captured Ewok and killed Sindel's family in pursuit of their star. Cruiser's power cell he believes will give him power. Two head off to the woods and meet Grumpy Hero Nate Noah or Folk Grimley, who are, after all reluctantly takes two of them in and Terra sees Sindel. Following the strong success of Caravan of Courage, Lucas and the company would seek to make another Ewok movie the following year with 1985's Ewoks Battle for Endor. Lucas hired screenwriter writer, direct Ken and Jim Weeds after they had voiced their support of Caravan of Courage, and while initially intended to focus the entire family first one, Lucas reason to see Heidi with stars sought to make a simple story orphaned and down the opening act, putting her in the care of Old Man in the Woods. Heidi's the Battle for Endor has been seen as an improvement of Caravan of Courage. 
While well, it may be true, it's not any level that rises above the bland hierarchy that tends to associate with either one of these telefilms. I do have to give credit for the sheer audacity of this movie in regards to killing off the entire family, including Sindel's older brother Mace, albeit off camera, which actually warranted a viewer disclaimer back in its original broadcast. Unlike the original film, I can't find viewing figures for Valve Endor, so I can't be certain what effect this darker tone had around its reception audience wise. The movie tries to add more vocal aspects to the story. Time around, we could have acquired room to understand English, what Star Wars equivalent is, which would be basic, standard basic. I read the books, and more vocal protagonists such as Tarak and Charl. The biggest addition is Wilford Brimley playing no one, while it's very clumsy written role, Doctor type is of like Brimley doing it. Original film plays a fairy tale down the brawl, eyes writing narration similar to a bedtime story. Bell for Ender tries to hearken to a rough Jones events to a Swiss family Robinson Heidi. And even though objectively does about well as it could have. Like the first movie, there's a lot of meandering scene that seems extremely padded on the same level of caravan and courage where the plot didn't actually start until 45 minutes in. Here the plot sort of takes a break for a half hour before moving on again. I'm telling our intro to Iraq and the Marauders basically being one note, Bruce and Tampa Litching and Plundling. And Charles, I want to with the fall is just there. I would say the effects and the plop. Action six he was just you show some improvement expansion from the last film, so prompted Joe John to tip on that. He walks about for Endor, just more of the same. With inconsensual side story that's attached to Star Wars universe, they have dubious continuity flubs of wicked being able to speak here but not in turn Jedi. Not that advanced, not that engaging, it's pretty boring except for maybe you see something weird on Endor. For fans of completions only, anyone else have a pillow and blanket on standby. Better than episode 1 and 2. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill, bro. Nailer 3. 2nd of June 2002. Both Ewok films have the Star Wars magic, which is missing for episode 1 and 2, and probably 3. Oh, wait. This, I think this one is... This one we've already read before, actually. Never mind. Shameless attempt to catch it on Star Wars. PG. 13 of February 1999. Well, bother. Return Jedi was a great movie. The worst thing about it was the Ewok. Why in God's name anyone would make a movie about them? Star Wars trilogy ruled the Earth and new one looks incredible. But a movie about Ewoks is a shockingly bad idea. The funniest part of Return Jedi was part of the Ewoks getting hurt. Even Toad. So this is just a waste of time. 6 out of 26 found this helpful. Bro has PETA on his tail. 6 out of 10. Better than Caravan of Courage but not to go to the original trilogy. Cool Line 14. 9th of October 2019. 02 found this helpful. I watched this in the bootleg some years ago. But I'm not sure I'll watch it again. I caught some clips on YouTube and some of them were actually funny. More Ewoks, shenanigans, and stop more animation creatures plus a battle sequence. Some say it's been the last Jedi, but I'm probably leaving it quitted. I hold all the Star Wars films including two T Ewok movies equally. No single Star Wars fan is gonna agree with me on every movie. I think the clone the anime Clone Wars movie is probably the worst. He's probably right. So we probably think Ewoks movie or better than the anime Clone Wars movie. Why well, it signifies all Ewoks new sequel trilogy? You could do a lot worse. True. 10 out of 10. I still love this movie. Crazy Aaron, 95, 25, 0. 14 of April, 2021. Warning, spoilers. I used to watch my grandpa over and over in Betamax when I was little. Every time I went to his house, I requested to watch. It only made me cry at the beginning. Rick and Teak made up for that. They were my favorites and definitely made the movie special. I thought they were adorable. I still love watching this time to time. It gives me a sense of nostalgia. 2 of 3 found this helpful. 6 out of 10. An improvement over near unbearable caravan of courage. King of the Nerds, 5th of July, 2022. 1984's Ewok movie, Caravan of Courage, proved to be a decent amount of success to warrant sequel Ewoks. Bell of Endor was aired on TV in the United States in 1985, also releasing, receiving a theatrical, theatrical release elsewhere. It was written and directed by Jim and Ken Wheat. Nightmare and so Elm Street 4 Dream Master stars Wilford Brimley, The Thing, Work, David Star Wars, Episode 6, Return to Jedi, and Aubrey Miller, Caravan of Courage. Sindel, Aubrey Miller and her family are still starting to pack in Endor with some marauders and Vane kills Sindel's family, just capturing some Ewoks. Apparently, these marauders seem interested in some sort of power source for a spaceship, but they don't seem aware of this. Sindel and Ewok from a wicket, while they would eat away a mountain man, no Brimley could still save the captured Ewok keep away from the marauders. You can see, I find Ewok's battle Endor to be quite a significant improvement over Caravan and Courage, which I found nearly intolerable. Going in, I was not expecting much. Within the first 10 minutes, film magic gave me a few surprises. First off, having a well-known actor like Paul Gleason die on a breakfast club is a film primer made for kids, and this magnitude really surprised me. The other thing that surprised me is they killed off Sindel's family, whom the first film developed with time to get rescued and whatnot. Personally, I found the family unbearable that I wasn't mad at all. Right after the first 10 minutes, in fact, a much darker tone established something drastically different compared to Transcend Rainbows of Caravan of Courage. I was really hoping this film not the same quality as Caravan of Courage or change in tone relieve me of any worry. The film is a sci-fi hammer sleeve hybrid which heavily focused on fantasy elements. I have seen many compare this film to Willow, which George Lucas 